Hey guys, it's Malak, and we are about to continue the Play Hitman series. We're about to go to the Sarajevo 6. Mission 1, the director. Do they have additional cutscenes for these? The agency has been contracted to eliminate six individuals they do. guilty of committing brutal war crimes during the siege of Sarajevo. As private military contractors, is that real? Let's see. I don't know too much about history. Particularly the massacres at Markle and the extended sniper campaign. Sorry. Let's see. The international criminal tribunal. True. Siege of Sarajevo was the siege of the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Herzegovina, and the longest of a capital city in the history of modern warfare. That's interesting. They declared independence from Yugoslavia after the, after the 1992 Bosnian independence referendum. Will provide multiple opportunities to eliminate the target in a lower than normal security setting. Um, um, a total of 13,952 people were killed during the siege, including 5,434 civilians. Sheesh. Our client will provide full intelligence on the That's first really interesting. Target, March 11th. The agency will notify you as soon as the exact location of the remaining targets is ascertained. These targets After the war, International Crimes Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia convicted four Serb officials for numerous counts of crimes against humanity committed during the siege, including terrorism. So that's what it's based off of? That's interesting. I'm surprised I haven't heard of this. It seems like a pretty big deal, and I generally like to read up on this stuff. Like, I've just fallen to Wikipedia click holes all the time. Like, when I was playing, um... <sighs> Rainbow Six Siege, I did a lot of research about some of the hostage situations. It was really interesting. I even watched a few movies. There's one... Oh, oh shoot. I should have looked at what my objective is. Oh, there it is. Eliminate using any method. Um, is it six days? Yeah, six days. About when... Um, I think it was Margaret Thatcher decided she wasn't going to be giving in to terrorist demands. And so it was one of the events that really popularized the SAS because they were able to successfully complete the mission um, neutralizing and capturing terrorists or I guess the militant group that took control of the embassy. Pretty okay movie. Not Fantastic, but if you like Rainbow Six Siege, it's a it's a decent watch. Um, another one that's interesting and I think is more about the creation of what's it called? Uh, Bandit, the GSG Nine, about the events leading up to that. Um, I think it's the Bader Meinhof complex. Bader Mein. Off complex. Yes, that's a really good movie. It's really long, but a lot of work went into it, and it's really good. It's pretty sad. And I wonder how much of it is necessarily accurate, like especially in terms of what happens to the radical groups after they were imprisoned. But... Yeah, it was super interesting learning about that. And that movie is really nice. There is a lot of gratuitous nudity in it, so if you're uncomfortable or opposed to that, you might want to have a friend edit it for you or watch a different film.
Ooh, and then the music starts. Give me a gun. Give me your clothes. And I'm out. And my controller is dying, so one sec. What you looking at? I sure would like an automatic weapon. Do I have? Oh, it's good to have you back. Silence pistol. Ta -ta -tum. Oh. Oh, there. Huh. He had a machine gun too. Let's John look it up. Huh. Guy was not a noticer. Wow, we might just breeze through this. Might as well just destroy that while I'm here. Wait a minute, wasn't there an exit this way? Guess not. That's okay. There's one over here. Woo! Easy breezy lemon squeezy. Good job, Mr. 47s. Wow, that went almost too smooth. All right, so that's the first Sarajevo 6 mission. I'd imagine Colorado will not be as easy. And I always had, I was having a hard time with the hotel. So. Yeah, only nine non-target kills. That's, a, that's above average for us. For me, anyway. Okay. So let's, let's move on to the next one, because we did that one really fast. We'll just have two in this video. So next up is the Enforcer. Oh, these are exclusive to PlayStation. That's interesting. Welcome back, 47. I trust you found your time in Paris Do they have ones that are exclusive to PC and Xbox then? In the Italian coastal town of Sapienza. Sapienza. We've learned that Gary Lunn, formerly known as the enforcer for the Sarajevo 6, is working at the Ether Corporation Biolab, supervising high-level security. So he's going to be downstairs in the Biolab. This is an exclusive holiday destination, 47, and the agency would discourage a public elimination. Although the target was part of the same Cicada paramilitary unit as Scott Sarno, there is no indication that he has learned of his colleague's death. Oblivious. 
Oh, I love this map. <laughs> it's so pretty. You should expect access to these areas to be restricted and the laboratory security to be particularly heavy. I'll leave you to prepare. Good luck. It is pretty awesome how it's got such a pretty little environment. But they've also got like the bio lab downstairs. I like that. I mean, they don't have that many levels and the story isn't that long in this game, but they do have some pretty decent detail in their maps. So let's smuggle some stuff. We'll put it in our safe house. Maybe I'll go there, Italian suit. I mean, an Italian suit is just basically the pants then, because he's not even wearing the blazer. Um, let's take the lethal syringe. I don't know if I've successfully taken someone out and then got in a way with the syringe yet. And where do I want to start? Undercover in Mansion. I, let's start in the safe house. And I'll just pick up the gun right away. And we'll breeze through this one too. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't just get murdered once I enter the lab. Oh man, after this, I'm probably going to watch Blade Runner. Told you I've been on like a, a cyberpunk phase. I am so excited for 2077. It is. What month is it right now? So when you watch this video, it'll probably be later. But for me, it's pretty much July. So July, August, September, October, November, December. Wait. Did I say December twice? Okay. <laughs> I'm already messing up. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Ten months. That's still a while. <laughs> At least there's a date I can look forward to now. It's been a long time for both Death Stranding and Cyberpunk 2077 that I've just been looking for it after watching like teaser tra trailers. Like I remember the one with the girl with the mantis blades out of her arms came out and I was like, oh, this is so cool. This is the aesthetic that I love. And I love cyberpunk stories. I love kind of all the controversial things that they can do in cyberpunk worlds. Kind of like how I've started to like the Black Mirror episodes. I just love all that stuff. I love Ex Machina. I like Blade Runner. And so I'm just really looking forward to this game. And it's been such a long time that I've been waiting. It's just awesome. And I'm excited for it to be here. Let's see. Can I shimmy down here? I cannot remember how we made it to the bio lab last time. I know it's pretty much underground. Hmm. But where? I think... okay. Everyone's gonna freak out. Oh, those guys had guns. Excuse me, sir. Thank you and goodbye. So I think last time I went around here, but then I think I went through the mansion. Shoot. Because up here is the guy's mansion. Uh, but maybe the... Oh... I think that, yeah, this is the entrance I used. But I need a security card. Unless there's another exit. Can't bypass either. So, don't really need a coin for what I'm doing here. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm, that's a control system I do not like. 
how sometimes it's like triangle to go up, sometimes it's square. So I need to find security card. Anybody got a security card? Wearing my nice little tank top. Now on that map it showed it looked like it was kind of like central southern. Maybe sort of close to um, Campania and Rome. It's such a nice area. I prefer Campania over Rome. So Campania, I mean in English you call it Naples, but in Italian it's Napoli. And that's where Campania is. It's where you find um, Sorrento. There's that song. I think it's Take Me Back to Sorrento or Won't You Come Back to Sorrento or something like that. It's a crooner song. It's really nice. But yeah, it's a beautiful area. It's got like the best pizza. Some of the best gelato I've had was in Sorrento. They have this, <laughs> this gelateria um, where they had the gelato that I really liked in Sorrento. Um, and it looks like they have some sort of a, a celebration or festival. And they had like a bunch of people like, I think it was like models and they like covered them in whipped cream or something and they were like eating the cream or ice cream off of them. I've never used the whip wood chipper before. Does it give you an achievement? Oh no, I didn't get an achievement. I just scarred Mr. Hitman forever. I don't even get an achievement. He's never gonna forget that. Oh man, no one's running out of here. Ooh, that was cool. Where are those bullets coming from? I think it'd be kind of cool though. Oh! One thing I would have liked to see is um, subtitles and then the organizations actually speak the language of the land. So maybe they speak Italian. Or maybe they would speak Serbian or whatever because they're from the, the Sarajevo 6 or whatever. I think that'd be cool. I'm hoping that there's a ton of different language in Cyberpunk 2077 and you have to get like transistor translator chips to understand people. Oh man, I need an access card. Romantic note, that's cool. What you got on your sound system? Nothing. Whew. She's lucky, I almost accidentally shot her. What happened? Come on, anybody have a security card? Ooh. Gonna hide Nascosto for a bit. He's ruining that. Uh, this is not looking good. You know, I really just need <laughs> the security card. All these people, mansion master key. Maybe something's upstairs. Chair. 
airlift? I don't know what that does. Unlock door. Maybe there's a key to the lab in here. Do, 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 lots of post-it notes. Got a letter opener. I don't really need that. Uh, shoot. Please, just give me the key, guys. Nobody gets hurt. This is a cool little 180 we did there, Hitman. Oh, where are you? Housekeeping? No, 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 no. I have the key. Why, why are you doing that? Biolab keycard, yes, and thank you. It's GTFO. Ah, uh, you're just civvy. I'll be a good little hitman, leave you alone. I wonder if Hitman has to deal with like tattoo harassment. Like when he goes to retail stores and grocery stores, if there's ever just a smart A, they like try and scan the barcode on the back of his head. It's just like, oh no, not this again. People just ask him, oh, what's that mean? What's that for? He just stares threateningly at them. Give me this. Where is he? Pretty sure I got him. So let's make quick work of the last little baddies. Man. He's got a shotgun. Where are the exits? Oh, usually there's a plane. I gotta go all the way back. While I do love this gun, I'm gonna need more ammo. Close that. Or maybe it is X for all of them. I swear I climbed once using triangle, but maybe I'm just confused. down. I just need to... Mm, come on, you can make that jump. I guess there's some stairs over here. Can you fire this cannon? That'd be so cool. Use cannon? Yes, you can. Maybe I'll have to figure that out at some point.
Ooh, is that a beautiful boat? Pick up cannabis joint. What? <laughs> Can you use this, Hitman? Are you feeling a little stressed out, a little anxiety? Something you aren't talking about? Yeah, that's a pretty little boat. And that is mission success. That was good. That was a two for one. Was that also in one try? Maybe these missions are just uh, a little bit easier. Just I know the maps now, so. I'm speaking too early though, because these aren't the mission, the, the maps that I had the hardest time with. The ones I had the hardest times with, I think, was the hotel, I guess Colorado. Because Colorado, I had to kill like literally everyone to complete the mission. And there are a lot of them on that one. 40 non-target kills, zero hitmans, but we did what we had to, and we had a good time. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. This is Malak, heading out.